Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of How To City Skylines with me, Res here Today, we're going to be expanding our city. We're going to be growing our city, as we always do. We're going to be teaching you every single thing that you can possibly learn. Look at that beautiful city right there. Look at it. Looking good as heck. People upgrading, people doing stuff. Let's get out of this view. So, when we left off, we had hydro problems we're gonna add in a power a coal power plant here we go boom, boom. now how much is that there we go 106 okay oh i didn't have enough three times speed that probably would have helped if i did that first anyway whatever when we left off we were covered i believe we covered garbage and other stuff which is already having a problem somehow which is interesting I did say that we probably need oh one second I was like what the heck is going on here it's too dang dark I got it <laughs> I solved the problem anyway let's see how our so this is getting full this is getting pretty full we're probably gonna need another one of those what if what if we put a landfill site somewhere over here well, I kind of messed it up a little bit, but we could put a landfill site somewhere over here. Let's just bring this down to wherever that lines up. I think it lines up over here. No. Make it short there, and then we'll do that. There we go. Oh. Hey, man. What the heck? There we go. Okay. So if I put the... I'm not 100% sure if this works, but we'll test it anyway. I'm wondering if I put this here, maybe they'll bring it to the landfill site, which the landfill site will then bring it to here. Um, we're going to try that just for experimental purposes, because why not? We're, we're living on the edge, you know? I'm going to take away the stoplights here, though. There we go. And um, the stoplights here. No, nah, that should be okay. I'm going to put a stop sign there. We'll take away the stoplights there, the stoplights there. Stop lights there. There we go. Okay. Yes, that's looking good. Okay, we're gonna see if this will work. So right now it has nine garbage trucks in use, but zero percent full. So I'm hoping that they will at least use the. Oh, I don't have the recycling thing unlocked yet, do I? No, I don't. Darn it. Okay, well we'll put on nothing because there's nothing there. Got it. <laughs> good talk. Alrighty, so let's get into this. Let's get into this video. We're gonna talk about our high school first. Where do we want this to be? Where do we want to put this? Do I want it all on this road here? Probably not. Let's make it its own thing. Let's just get a dirt road as we always do. We'll get a dirt road and we'll bring the dirt road off of here. We'll line it up with this part for now, but I'm not going to probably keep it there. I'm going to actually do this maybe and put it on its own thing. Let's just see how this looks. Uh, that's okay. Let's put in this road first. Make sure we don't mess anything up. There we go. We'll put in this road for. Oh wait, darn it. Put in there. We'll put in that road first, and we'll do that maybe. Right. And then we can maybe do that. I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna just do it anyway. We want to make interesting things and this is uh interesting to say the least <laughs> pretty interesting to say the least let's talk about the snap stuff the road the road okay well whatever that icon is toggle snap we're gonna call it so as you can see for most of these things your angles right so this will tell you the angle right there you can see this little semicircle forming that tells you what angle it's at all right so there's 70 here's 90 whatever else then you got your road length. So the bars are about 10 each. Every big bar is 10. Every, this is about five, five bars. So when it shows this line up here, right? This means it's five. This means it's 10. When you see the bar pop up, it means you're at half, which is five. The grid, I think that's pretty self-explanatory. No, maybe not. Hmm, maybe not. What's, what's the grid thingy? I never actually saw the grid thingy, I ain't gonna lie, so I'm not, I'm not gonna talk about that, just in case. The road guidelines are, I think, those little circles that pop up. Yeah, so like here, there'd be a circle that's not popping up. If I turn this on, 
There it is. All right. So there you go. And there's stuff you can do to turn them off. That like you can place your road kind of like wherever you want, right? Y'all can just kind of freely do that. But if I do this, it kind of snaps it to certain things. So there you go. We talked about that a little bit. I wanted this to go right like along here, but I can't. I can't do that. So for now, I'm going to just leave it like that. And uh, yeah, it is what it is. We could probably decorate it with some landscaping stuff. We'll talk about that a little bit later. Not right now, but there we go. We got our school. You can hear them dinging and uh, everything. Everybody's upgrading. You can hear them upgrading, which is nice. Let's just see if we can find a. We find a household that has upgraded. Not a household. Is this a household? No, there's a household right here. Okay, so this one is leveled up. Uh, oh, I can't see the level of information available. Well, I'm sad now. Okay, then we'll go. We'll talk about paths and stuff. Then I wasn't going to talk about it, but we'll talk about it now because I can't find what I want to find. So anyway, so using these, you can see it also affects your paths. These will stick on to stuff. And if you don't want them to stick on to stuff and whatever else, give you information, just turn it off. I'm going to put this right in the middle, just like that. Oh, I'm going to make it the dirt pathway. Probably would be better. There we go. I don't really want it to go there, but okay. Is that better? Yeah, that's better. There we go. So remember that little space we left in the middle of our roads? Well, now they're being used for paths. There we go. Can I just stick this on here? Distance too short. Okay, well, well whatever, I guess. Will they still cross there? I hope so. I hope so. My bad. We'll see. Let's see. So far, it's a no. Hmm, we'll keep an eye on that. See how that goes, I guess. We shall see. We shall see. All right, let's put another one here. There we go. And then we'll just put another one up here. There. And then we'll put another one right here. All right. Don't mean to do that, but... Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. There we go. Hopefully they'll use these up and bottom parts. If, if they don't use it, that means they're not connected. I don't think they're using it. So probably not connected. Okay, well, let us just try and connect it somehow, maybe? There we go. Now it's connected. Yeah, so you gotta actually connect it for them to actually use it, which makes sense. Makes sense. Oh, there we go. Perfecto. All right, now they can go up and down and all around. Um, let's put a pathway right here as well. Okay. The more pathways you have, the easier it is for your Sims to get around the city, right? That's what you want. You want to make it as easy as possible for them to get anywhere they want by walking. Okay. You want to encourage as much walking as possible. So like, for example, I would probably put this right there and then boom, a place to go. And then, uh, well, I got this bridge right here, so that'll be okay. But yeah, there you go. Right. And then, um, probably put another pathway right here but you get you get the gist of it right the more pathways you have they don't got to go all the way around the block to go to their house on this side the better you know well you could probably even do something like this right just put a little pathway a little tiny pathway right there right or even a little tiny pathway going di going this way there we go i think that connects up there pretty sure it does there we go look at that look at that that's a thing of beauty right there a ting of beauty. Let's put this over here. There we go. And then we can. You got. You want to try and um, also put in your pathways before you build stuff, if possible. Now, because I didn't have it unlocked, I couldn't do it right away. Otherwise, I definitely would have, because it would have saved me a lot of time. <laughs> That's for sure. Let's put in some old pathways. Let's just put in a little, just, just this last one and we'll call it, we'll call it there. 
Okay, there we go. There's some pathways for you. I lie. I wouldn't put in this pathway too. I'm going this way. You know, I, I, I'm a liar. Sometimes. Uh, most of the time. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> there we go. Let's see. That's the fire station. We'll put this pathway right here. And that right there. And yeah, that's good for pathways, I think. Should be okay right there. Um... Yeah, that should be fine. Now let's check our education real quick. Right here, the high, the elementary school is good. Okay, high school also good. We don't have university. We do have a public library, but we're not gonna talk about that yet. So hopefully, if I click on a building now. Okay. One more education. How about how about no? The parks and plazas can help you with your city a lot. Okay. You see this big green circle, right? It covers a pretty good amount. Plopping these into certain areas can also help with your city. So for example, you want to put this where it can get the most amount of people. The problem is that I just put in pathways too. So that's not going to work out for us there. But the most amount of people in this circle would be fantastic. Let's see. Let's try and go for something like, let's see, right about, right about there, probably. Right about here, right? Plop that in there. See all the smiley faces. Now, eventually when they stop saying, hey, educate me, they will start to say, hey, we need more land value. So hopefully that'll work, but we'll see how that goes. Do I have, I do right here, here we go. So you can see the land value right here in this tab that I clicked right here. Right, so white is like nothing, basically nothing. Blue is medium, the, the darkish blue. So about here where we put that dog park, I think it was. I think it was a dog park. And then green is very the very highest it could go, right? So if I was to put in something else, I would assume it would increase the land value. You know what? I'm going to put in a public library somewhere. Uh, I was going to put it right here, but I guess not. So I want the library kind of, kind of like right here-ish. So let us dirt road, put a road here, and then we'll just put a road straight down this way. Uh, don't want it to connect actually there. There we go. And then, oh dang it. Too big. I need it too big. Try it again. Do about there. There we go. Yeah, that's good. Perfecto. There's our library. Right there. Gonna look great. Now, if I had the move it mod, I'd fix that, but I don't have the move it mod, so. Meh. Right? Meh. Let us put in some decor. We're gonna talk about the landscaping value just a little bit. Um, most of the time, when I talk about stuff, I either talk about it too much or too little. So, hopefully, as I go into other episodes, I will hopefully cover them as much as I can as well because there's more stuff you can do with the land with the landscaping tool and sometimes say like in this video like I probably won't even talk about this in this video because I don't really have a need for it right now and it costs a lot of money which we don't have So me talking about this tool the landscaping tool probably won't happen in this video however we could, I will, I talked about the paths already. I talked about, well, I'm going to talk about the decor and stuff, the trees and rock, but anyway. So some of the stuff I will be using and other stuff I won't be using just in, in later episodes, I will hopefully, but we'll see how that goes. So I'm hoping to cover as much as I can in most episodes, but in other episodes, we will be going back and covering other stuff. So like when we unlock the, the uh, transportation, the 2600, when we unlock this, there's a lot of transportational options you can use. However, I'm not going to be able to cover every single transportation option in one video. So therefore I would need to make, I think maybe three, at least three for sure to cover every single thing that you can do with it. So keep that in mind. If I don't talk about something right away, I will most likely go back to it in a later video and discuss it then. So if you're looking for a specific thing, just let me know and I can try and help you down in the comments. Okay. But for right now, we're going to talk about the decor. So I like to use the rocks, right? Rocks are like literally your best friend in this game. If you don't have mods and stuff, literally your best friend. 
Now I can't put it where I want to put it because I don't have uh, anarchy and stuff like that. I don't have PC mods to help me with that. But you know what? That's okay. That's okay. I can still overlap the rock, so that's good. probably use this side for something we'll see but for the most part that is that's okay uh, it's not great like I said but it'll do so there you go and then we could also put another little tree right over here like that to make this area stand out because I'm gonna want to put in some here now i'm gonna want to put some transportation near this school too and then the high school over here look at that look at these guys already using the pass look at that look at that probably should have put probably should have put that gaming thing over here actually but um whatever it is what it is now put this over oh i can't it's too big oh man oh that would have been freaking perfect actually Darn it. Okay. But for now, we're going to just deal with it the way that it is meant to be dealt with. So we're going to decor this, right? Like I said, decor is your best friend. The best thing you can do is decorate your stuff, right? Just a little bit of trees. You don't got to overdo nothing. You don't got to... You can underdo some stuff, but I mean, some decor is still relatively better than absolutely no decor. You know what I mean? Like when you're just plopping a random rock somewhere, boom, decor. Look at that makes it look a thousand times better okay and there isn't really nothing to really explain about the decor stuff you know just uh you just kind of pop it wherever you want like if you want a bush here you go for it you know do your thing if you want some trees or some bushes or some leaves there just just do it you know well think about it just do it that's the best way to do uh decor stuff don't think just do that's the motto of decor Oop, okay. Well, put some grass there, and I forgot it deleted it when I placed it there. Oh, because I, yeah, I don't have proper inner key. I'm so sad, but oh well. I don't have that, but it is what it is. So there you go. Look at that. A nice little, nice little area right there. And then you can also put, like, if you have pathways, you can put some fences around the pathways. Make it stand out more, right? Okay, well. I'm going to delete that rock. I don't want to, don't want to delete that rock, but we're going to do it anyway. Put some where are these guys going it's not even where the, oh because i have dirt roads right dang it i have dirt roads one second oh it's gonna make it the road even bigger so it's gonna delete my pathways oh man dang it that'll be fine let's add in our our fence now like i was going to do in the first place uh let's delete this gonna make it a little bit different now not far enough. there we go and then can i go down this way yeah there we go little pathway Nice little pathway. That rock is way too big. Put some rocks right here. That's good enough. And then we'll put some bushes. Do I have bushes? I do right here. There you go. Look at that. Nice, nice little pathway for our little little sims. There you go, buddy. There you go. Good. Looking good. Looking good. All right. So that's basically your landscaping, you know? Uh, the water stuff I don't really mess with because every time I mess with the water stuff I end up breaking something so maybe I'll do the water stuff at the end of us building out our city but for now I'm not gonna touch it because it likes to do its own thing here we go increase land value yeah yeah that looks good let's try increasing the land value right here so let us get um get one of these bad boys let's put that right there see what happens how is that? Is that good for you? You need some more land value. Is that what it is? It, un it upgraded some stuff. That's good. This is still blue. This right here is a little bit greener, which is good. 
let us add in um can i put something right here maybe yeah there we go yeah attract wealthier customers to allow the building to be upgraded i'm not sure how to do that so i'm gonna let that building do its own thing but that's basically all you gotta do right some buildings want it to have high, light, higher land value and obviously when we unlock the transportation we'll make it a lot better but for now this is this is okay for now let's move on to upgrading our city again i'm doing some other stuff um well let us actually upgrade the roads Okay, so I've gone around and just upgraded all the dirt roads to regular roads now. And I made these guys industrial roads, which you can only get with the Industries DLC, which is this road here and this road right here. So there you go. So I've upgraded them from dirt roads to normal roads. Hopefully that will make these upgrade too, I would assume. We'll see how that goes. But yeah, so they're looking pretty good so far. You know, I, I fixed my pathways and everything. This area is looking relatively okay the momento at the momento are looking okay let's put these in here there we go give that space some use right there and this little space some use to and we'll just add in these residentials and just see how this looks right here i'm gonna see how that in, that place goes um i want to fill in this place here maybe some of it not all of it Let's just see how this goes. And we're just going to take that away from there. And yeah, that should be okay, I think. Yeah, I'm, I might move this somewhere else. We'll see. We'll see if I move that somewhere else. But I redid this spot too. It looks good. It looks good. And yeah. So let's continue on with building out the city again. So the first thing we're going to want to do... Make some rows and bring them on over here. Oh, not that far. Let's see where I want to put this road. I'm put this road right here. Just like that. Oh, and there we go. Okay. Perfect. And then we'll put some industry over here near this dumpster. Just to fill in that spot. And then we'll put one right here as well. I don't think we'll need a whole lot, but we're going to just put that there anyway. This is getting pretty far out where I should be able to just cover in the whole square. I don't even need to do that, actually. I should just cover in the whole square, just like this. Nothing special, you know, just a little bit of your basic needs, you know. And we're going to make this half industry. I'm not even going to do that yet till this is full. So I'm going to just let that do its thing. We're going to come over here. We're going to put the power back onto the grid even though i don't need the power line but we're gonna do it anyway and then i'm gonna come in here and we're gonna wash this build out it's gonna be great let me just zoom in to about i'd say maybe about there and there we go Oh, perfect. And we have now reached Boom, oh, Boomtown. 
We have unlocked transportation. All those services that come with it. The ore industry specialization. Some new policies, some new roads and highways looking good. This might actually become a problem right now, actually. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why the heating thing matters, but apparently it does. So I guess we will just take care of that now. So if you get these symbols, which I don't know why I get them, but I get them for some reason. It means your citizens need heat, right? To do that, all you got to do is you got to just upgrade these pipes. Now, I don't have to upgrade every single one of them. Just up to the intake and the outtake. That's it. And then all I have to do after that is make a place for... I think both of these? Maybe not both of them, but anyway, whatever. You need to make a spot for those and then connect a pipe. Does it not want me to do it? Oh, and then connect a pipe to that. And I think that should solve our problems once I connect the road over to here. Somewhere, not sure where yet. Bring it down over there, here we go. And then that should make all the symbols go away. Yeah, looks like it. There we go. Perfecto. All right, so I'm going to just very quickly. I'm going to just show off once I get enough money. I'm going to show off or show you how to do like a simple bus lane, right? Once I get some money to put it in. There we go. Bus depot. I'm going to put the bus depot way the heck over here. Right? And then we can put in our bus route. So... You know all those places that we made look interesting? We can now easily identify them. So I know that there's a library here. I know that there's a school here. And I know that there's a high school over here. So from there to this library. Or from the library to the school. And it's going to go back out and down the street. To this right here. And then right back over to here. Oh, I want it to go this way. I want it to go over here. That's what I want. Put a stop there. And we'll just put a stop there too. There you go. You got your basic, your basic small route, right? So every, I'm going to explain this over here. So every, about every road can have a stop point for a bus or whatever. In this case, it's a bus. So if you put it on the route it's supposed to go, you'll see that the line will go straight like it's supposed to do. But if you put it on this side of the road, then the bus or whatever has to turn around and come back the other way, right? So it's best to keep your buses kind of like this so that it actually makes one loop if that makes sense hopefully it does i'm gonna get rid of this though hopefully it does you don't want to put your your bus around this side and then make it go like like that see you don't want it to go here and then go do some random loop thing to turn back around and then do some other random loop thing to turn back around you don't want that right you want it to make a nice and simple and nice loop that's all you not want that's all you need there you go now we got two right now it's going to take people from over here Bring them over to here and then bring them to work too. Probably should have actually added a bus route. I'm going to just click and drag. So if I hit this line right here, I can make a new node like that. And then I can drag that node to wherever I want it. And I want it to be somewhere over here. There we go. There. Now it's going to pick up people from over here. Over here. I, I think over here too. I'm pretty sure I did that, right? Yeah, over here. So over in this area too. And then in here and then drop them at work as well. And then over here as well. So there you go. There's two bus routes. Two easy bus routes. One bus route is simply for the schools and the library. And the other bus route is for getting people to different parts of the city, which is what you also want as well. You might also want to, I don't know if you can, I should be able to actually. You want to make them different colors too. So let's say the bus route is going to be, hopefully that's yellow. It's yellow to me, so whatever. And then the different areas can be like red. We'll just make that red, right? education so like education and then this is just basic land one okay that's just for getting the people around right we are going to cover one more thing which is cemeteries you can see these skulls popping up right here see that skull that means someone has passed someone has died and to get those icons to go away you got to put in a cemetery somewhere so you don't really need to put it in a specific spot however it is best to put it somewhere so we're going to take this off so i can see what's going on here we'll put this right here uh no we won't because i might have to upgrade that to a six lane 
this is also going to act the same way. I'm going to put it right here. This is going to act the same way as our landscape or our landfill site over here. So each time this is full, right? Each person that gets stored in here or buried in here, I should say, not stored, it will right here. So it can hold 3,000 people. So it'll put one person or whatever many died into the cemetery. Once the cemetery gets filled up, it has to dump it. And by dump it, I mean respectfully put it somewhere else. And that's the best I can do with that. So just deal with it. <laughs> and when it does that, you have to get a crematorium. So because it has to just burn the bodies, right? That's basically the way to do it right there. A crematorium. We're going to talk about some other stuff too in these tabs in a different episode. But for this episode, we're going to end it right here only because... Like I said, we, I want to talk about certain things in certain episodes. Hopefully this has helped you in any way. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Eventually, we're going to start getting into, into more detailed episodes where I cover certain things a lot better than what the first three, four episodes might be. So hopefully you'll enjoy it then. Hopefully you'll stick around. If you do find these episodes useful at all, leave a like. Let me know what you think about them down in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care and bye-bye.